I'm tired. I'm tired of this ship. There's nothing to do and nowhere to go, and whenever there's a storm, I get seasick. I hate the salt. We have to wash our hair and take baths in salt water. <coughs> I, my skin and clothes are itching with salt. <laughs> Okay, Riley. Now, Riley, kind of step forward a little, okay? What I hate most is dry fish. They eat dry fish, dry fish, and salt pork. So, uh, uh, so this is a type of rock. Okay. Kaylee, do me a favor. Come around the side here so people can see. Yeah, don't fall off. Maybe Kaylee can get around. Let's see this. Okay. And don't forget the awful vegetables, parsnips, and turnips. They taste bad, huh? Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. 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 Move forward a little bit, okay? I don't want to go to America. It's scary going to a new place. I'll miss my friends in England. Oh. The Pilgrim children did have a lot to complain about. The Mayflower was actually a cargo ship. There was barely any room for the 102 passengers with 30 crew members. Some had to sleep outside on the deck. During the trip, one of the beams that hold the ship together cracked. Everyone had to help hold the beam while the ship's carpenter used a giant iron screw to put it back together. When there is no wind, the ship comes to a standstill. There is little fresh water. Yesterday, a baby boy was born. They named him Oceanus because he was born in a ship in the Atlantic Ocean. He's lucky he'll live in America and never worry about re being arrested and going to prison. Hang on a minute, Riley. Step forward now. Okay, just get in the back. My father says in America, we can make our own luck. Once again, let Kaylee come to the front. That crowded ship, isn't it? <laughs> so we can worship God in our own way. Now Caroline to the front. Thank you. And all of the hardships will be worth it because we'll be free. Nice. And the two people together. Come toward the front. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. 